Yo peeps, this is Siege, and I'm going to talk about uh, creating creative wizard mixes with reverb, creating the kind of spatial effects, ambient reverb layers that are used to create dramatic builds, and gorgeous layers of harmonics and pop songs and a lot of other uses. I'm sure you could, maybe you will come up with a use that has not, never been come up with before. <laughs> laying your ambient layers up to wazoo. So the kind of sound we are looking for that I'm going to be exploring is this kind of thing. Talking about those beautiful ambient layers that are just everywhere in modern music production. Okay, so I have the groove of the song that I made and then to create my reverb layer in this particular project, I actually took an abstract funk riff. A lot of the things I make are sort of a, a kind of deconstructed funk. So it ends up look, er, it starts out like this. under my uh, wah-wah pedal. <laughs> Something like that. So we're going to start with this funk, this soulful kind of lick, and we're going to ye abstract it in a way that we still maintain the energy and can use this in our track. So the first thing we're going to do is add reverb. Reverb is the most important thing. For some reason, there's no, never any low cut. We definitely want to add the low cut, and we want more highs than lows in general with reverb. We're going to crank this decay to somewhere around seven seconds. And crank the wet, because we want a mostly echo, almost all echoey signal. And to also help with this all echoey signal, um, we're going to crank down the pre-delay the time it takes for the effect to start happening, we want to be as close to zero as possible. Now when we double that, which I do with Control D in Ableton, then we're gonna be a long way towards getting the sound we're after. I'll select that, Control L, we'll loop that region. Okay, so that original funky guitar has now been abstracted by various layers of reverb. Okay, so it's starting to seem more like what we want it to be. Now we need to get it under control a little more. Two things I'm going to do to get it under control. I'm going to use tremolo effect, which I'll get from Autopan in, in Ableton. And I'm going to use sidechain compression. Uh, the tremolo one is my own flourish that I don't really hear in so much music, but I love it, and everybody I show it to loves it. So we'll get to that second. The first thing you want to do is use some kind of sidechain compression. So I'm going to get my com compressor there. I'm going to set the ratio to 4. When you use sidechain compression, you tend to want it to act fast. Not so fast, it causes distortion. I'll set that for to point 0.2 right now. I love multiples of 2, so I'll set the release to 64. Um, and we'll listen uh, what happens when we sidechain it to one of the beat tracks. So I have a 808 set on this second track here, and I'm going to sidechain it to that beat. So there's no effect here. I'm going to pull the threshold down. Dope. Okay, so that's pretty cool. One of the things I will always manipulate to get cooler and cooler effects is this uh, great feature within Ableton, but it's EQing your compression data. So these buttons do a variety of things, but they help you focus on one or other parts of the sound. So I'm going to tell 
this compressor to focus on more high range things going on in the beat. Just by doing that, I'm going to say take a band and focus above what most uh, like kick sounds are. It'll still be there, it'll still be present, but you'll see this bar here, how much attenuation is happening, will be affected. That's cool. Okay, so that is where a lot of reverb, ambient layer processing will sort of end. Uh, but I like to add another thing. I tend to add in auto pans. I actually tend to generally add in two of them. Here's a really cool thing. So if you take auto pan, set the phase to zero and the amount up a bit, as well as you ra range the amount up a bit, you get these great tremolo effects. Let's listen to it without the compressor so you can hear what I'm so you can hear what I'm talking about. Okay, so basically I am automating these things like crazy all over my tracks. Cause they're just so beautiful and you can't go wrong. Anytime I'm moving these guys around. I'm going to change the offset here and there. Well, you can get some kind of really strange uh, flashing types of effects if you really crank up this amount. But even for short periods of time, that will be cool too. So these are the kinds of things that I am doing. So I'm doing a tremolo there and then the compressor over top and I'm saying, yeah, just mess with this because it's gorgeous. and you will get gorgeous reverb layers to mess with. Okay, now, if I focus on what I've done here, I've used these reverb layers to create space in this track. So, again, here's what's gonna, we're gonna get this sound, and it's gonna drop out, and that's gonna cause a more dramatic drop. Okay, so if we listen in context, it's gonna... Okay, so when we remove the ambient sound, we create that void effect, which makes drops really mo that much more powerful. Okay, and here I've actually got uh, two layers of this stuff going here. So by the time I do the same kind of trick here, except here, if you look here, I have this in the regular pitch, the original pitch, and that sounds like this. And here I have this one, it pitched down 12 semitones. So that sounds like this. And then when I add them together, they're going to sound like this. Drop out for the drop and come back in this rich enhanced harmonic layer. And that in context is gonna sound like and the track is the sexualized nursery rhyme pussy gets the cream perhaps not universally appropriate but <laughs> it, that is how i'm generating the space effect to create a more dramatic drop i'm using what we can see I've got compressor, I have taken some of the biting tone out of some of my reverb there. And here I've got auto pans. And that's that. So hopefully this gives you the confidence to create your own wizard mixes and I would love to hear what you do because this is definitely a realm where you can actually create things that nobody has ever heard of on a regular basis. Technology is such that it's really exciting. So good luck. And uh, yeah, let me know. This is Siege. And uh, good luck with your own wizard mixes. Smart. Smart.